We're going to go through an energizing flow. I was inspired to do so. I was feeling really sluggish this morning and instead of going for an extra cup of coffee or for an outside source, it's really great to go within and see if you can harness some of that internal energy and expand it outward. So we will be doing some standing postures just to get the blood moving and flowing. Uh, definitely some core work and then we'll end with a uh, one minute pranayama that is just really great for clearing energy and um, preparing us for for the day or this can even be a practice that's just done in the afternoon it shouldn't be too long uh, just a quick uh, sequence but it's also a flow, so if you wanted to work through it, you know, one breath per movement, you know, a couple of extra times than we do here, it could be a little bit longer of a practice. So, with that, we will begin in child's pose. So sit back onto your heels, reach your arms forward, settle in here. You can have your knees close together, if that feels good, or have your knees farther apart. Once you get into position, bring your attention to your breath. Without changing anything, just notice the duration, the quality of each inhale and each exhale. As you do, seal your lips and push and pull the air in and out your nose. You can even start to make an audible exhale out your mouth. If you activate that type of breathing called ujjayi, then it can really help with uh, concentration, with the focus as we begin to move. Just continue with the observation of whichever breath your body's asking for right now. With your inhale, come to hands and knees. Exhale, tuck your toes, lift your hips and your knees up and back, press your fingertips into the mat or downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here just to notice how you feel. Sway your hips. Don't necessarily do what I'm doing, but just do what your body's calling out for. A little twisty. Notice places of tension or stuckness and send your breath to those places. We hold tension in all different ways and areas of the body. So if you can bring a little bit of awareness and acknowledgement to those places. Last breath, settle into downward facing dog by pressing your heels down towards the mat. Lift your tailbone, press your chest towards your thighs. Three breaths. Inhale, top of a push up, shoulders over wrists, heels over toes, and bring your gaze just right out in front of you. Start to activate your core, sure your pelvic floor and your belly is engaged and tight. Exhale, hinge forward so your elbows are over your wrists and lower down about halfway for Chaturanga Dandasana. No option to lower all the way down to your belly if you choose. Inhale, you can just untuck your toes and press up for a little cobra. Or from Chaturanga Dandasana, inhale, up dog, knees, thighs lifted, and it aggravates my neck to look up. So I just look out in front of me, shoulders squeezing together, neck long. Exhale, roll over your toes and lift your hips. Back to downward facing dog. Now that little sequence you could move through a couple more times. But for now, we're going to move on. So as you inhale, baby step, hips up high, belly in, 
and bring your feet to your hands. Feet about hip width distance apart, just hang heavy. Nice. Big exhale. Now a deep bend in the knees. Just make this part feel good. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Press your hands into your shins. Lengthen through your spine. Shoulders down and together. Belly in and up. Gaze just right out in front of you. Pull your tailbone, the crown of your head, away from each other. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step your left foot back so you're lunging over your right leg. Now my stance wasn't long enough, so make sure you've got a nice long stance here. Find a little bit of movement. This might be feeling a little tight, especially if you're practicing in the morning, just getting your body going. Settle into your lunge when you're ready. Inhale, back heel down. Press into the outsides of your feet. Deep bend in your right knee. Inhale, arms forward and up. Warrior one stance. Pull your left shoulder forward, right shoulder back, as well as your hips. Right hip back, left hip forward. Deep bend. Where's your breath? Gaze up. If it feels okay, keep breathing. Next, exhale, lengthen out your right leg, fold forward, hands come to either side of your foot, still pulling your right hip back, left hip forward, and your chest comes towards your leg. Now you might be here, big bend in your knee, it doesn't really matter what it looks like, just come to that place of sensation in the back of your leg. See if you can find a little bit of ease. Often the pulling and the forcing doesn't really work, but if you can come to your breath, soften where you can, tell your body that it's okay by breathing deeply. Inhale, bend your right knee again. This time circle your left hand up, back behind you, right fingertips forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades, roll them down. You can even find a little bit of movement in your torso and then settle in with your torso over your hips. Gaze forward, warrior two. Exhale, left knee to the top of your, excuse me, left elbow to the top of your knee. Come to the ball of your back foot. You can reach your right hand back behind you. A couple of options here. You can have your elbow to the outside. Bring your hands together. Draw your hands to the center of your chest and twist a little bit deeper. You can even have the option to spread your arms wide here. Find your version of this posture. Maybe wobble and fall as I'm showing and demonstrating well. Inhale. Drop your back heel down for some stability. Just lengthen out your right leg. Left hand comes back to your thigh or uh, farther down. Avoid your knee or you can wrap your hand behind your back. Right fingertips up. Now find just as much length through your left side as your right side. So pull your hips forward. Lift your left side body up. And then if it feels good, you can reach back behind you. Draw your gaze down towards your left toes. Find a little bit of extension through your neck. Exhale. Hands down to frame your right foot. As you inhale, step your right foot back to meet your left. This time, bring your feet together, heels over to the left. Inhale, right arm up. Vashisasana, side plank. Have your knee down for some support here. Keep lifting your right hip up. Find the arch in your left side body. Option to lift a leg or even do a little elbow to knee. Last breath. 
Exhale, right hand down. Hinge forward, lower down halfway or all the way. Up dog, press up on an inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Maybe even let a few exhales out your mouth. Inhale, fill up. Press your belly outward. Exhale. Nice. Inhale, baby steps forward. Hang heavy. Let this part feel good. You can take a different variation. Lift an arm and twist a little bit or sway. And back through center when you're ready. Inhale, lift halfway, squeeze your shoulder blades, lengthen out. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. As you exhale, right foot comes back so you can lunge over your left leg. Time for the other side. Find your nice long stance. Wiggle it out a little bit. Notice any differences from the right to the left. Oftentimes there are. Bring your back heel down. When you're ready, inhale. Warrior one, arms up. Keep pulling your left shoulder back, right shoulder forward, as well as your hips. Deep bend in your right knee. Very energetic pose. You might even feel your muscles begin to shake, quiver a little bit. Just notice and observe those things. See if you can avoid the temptation to react to tighten up, to stiffen up, to resist. See if you can soften in, respond, the mindful body and awareness. Exhale, lengthen out your left leg, bring your hands down. Wide pyramid pose, still pulling your left hip back, right hip forward, soften your chest towards your leg. Breathe deeply. Inhale, left knee bends again. Right hand up, back behind you. As you settle into this warrior on this side, feel free to move a little bit. Make this pose fit you and your uniqueness. Shoulders down and back, doesn't need to look a certain way. It just needs to feel right for you. Pull your left knee towards the outside of your foot. Oftentimes, the tendency is to pull it inward. See if you can draw it out. Deep breath. One more inhale. Exhale, come to the ball of your back foot so that you can tap your knee, elbow to knee, left hand back behind you. Now remember your options here, hands together, deepen the twist, or perhaps just stay right here. Belly engaged, try not to lean on your thigh, but to lift through your torso as you twist the left. Drop your back heel. Inhale, right hand up and back for reverse triangle. Set this up. Left hip comes forward. Lengthen through your right side as you do your left. And bring your gaze down towards your toes. One more round of breath. Exhale. Hands down, your left foot back to meet your right. Inhale, heels come over to the right, your left arm up. Options here, bring a knee down. So lift your left leg, elbow to knee. Find that arch in your side body, come to your 
version of this posture. One more breath. Exhale, left hand down. Hinge forward, last time through, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, panamukha. Svanasana, downward facing dog. Now, that is the sequence. Feel free to move through it. One breath per movement. A couple more times. For now, I feel my heart pumping, the blood's moving, so we'll finish up with a, uh, a quick pranayama practice and then a couple moments of meditation. So this one is can be done here like in rock pose with your heels behind you sitting back or just an easy pose. This um, mudra comes from kundalini. So your four fingers come in tight, thumb out. They call this ego eradicator pose. So um, through this pranayama practice, this breath of fire will be pumping the air in and out our nose as our belly, as we come, as we inhale, our belly fills up, out, 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 exhale. But it'll be a little bit faster than that. So arms come to about 60 degrees. Uh, extend your elbows toward, or excuse me, your thumbs towards each other. Elbows lengthen out. Shoulders relax down. So this will be the pose, and we'll be here for one minute as we do breath of fire in and out your nose. I'll show you what that looks like. So inhale, fill up. You'll notice the breath is fast and the belly goes in and out. If this breath doesn't work for you, then um, you can just breathe in and out your nose and still keep your hands up if you like or just sit with me and uh, take it in. Ready, inhale, exhale. You're about halfway there. Stay with the breath, in and out your nose, keep it strong. Ten seconds. Inhale, fill up, hold and extend the breath as you bring your thumbs to touch above you. Hold, hold, squeeze your bandhas, those energetic locks starting from the root upwards. Big exhale, hands come to your side. Now just sit with this for a few moments. Breath of fire is a very cleansing breath. It's really good to activate the nervous system. So when you feel ready and complete, we'll just lie down in Shavasana, which is corpse pose, but any place of rest will work. And your feet long, arms to your side. This is one place that might feel like you want to skip out on. Especially if you are a busy, busy person like me. But I promise you, if you can at least stay here, 
for three to five minutes to download and process your practice can significantly change the rest of your day. Let your body melt into the mat. Feel gravity pulling you down. Release. Tension in your jaw, between your eyes. Let your breathing become normal and natural. Feel free to stay just as you are, if you'd like, <coughs> start waking up your body. <coughs> Excuse me. Just wiggle your fingers and your toes a little bit. And roll to one side or the other. Inhale, press yourself up. Keep your eyes closed. Just come to a seat. If you're needing to move on with your day, this is a nice way to get yourself back into it. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Know you are a powerful creator. The calm, the presence, the energy that you just created was all you. I'm grateful that I can share this practice with you. And from my soul, and the light within me to your soul, the light within you. Namaste.